You want to succeed and win your race in network marketing? Today, we are mapping out the training plan to make 2024 your breakthrough year in this industry. In 2019, Elio Kipchoge was the first athlete in history to run a marathon in less than two hours. His secret? The same strategies that can skyrocket your network marketing business. So, if you're ready to learn how professional sports taxis can help you to succeed in network marketing this year, let's dive in. In the next few minutes, I want to share my yearly practice in goal setting and how I can make myself accountable and what has helped me to become a top earner in my company. So, take pen and paper and write down everything that resonates with you. The journey over the last years have been exciting and inspiring, but it was also challenging and empowering. So what I want to emphasize is that becoming a top earner in network marketing isn't something that is happening overnight. It requires commitment, resilience, vision, good planning and goal setting. What I have observed and learned in the last few years is that many people totally, really totally underestimate the power of goal setting and planning. In my career as an athlete and a coach, it was just part of our daily business. So when I started in network marketing, my first year goal was to become financially independent. So I sat down and made a plan just as I used to do in sports. I wrote down my goal and broke it down into monthly, weekly and daily milestones. Through this, I developed an action plan that has allowed me to achieve my yearly goal even one month ahead. I'm telling you this story because I want to show you that success in network marketing has nothing to do with any pre-knowledge, luck, timing or how many people you know from the get-go. It comes from having a clear vision, proper planning and taking massive action. And now it is the best time and perhaps the most important time to set up your yearly plan. So let's use a metaphor. Imagine you're taking an overseas flight from Europe to the United States. If you change your course even a half a degree, you might end up hundreds of kilometers away from your original destination. You might think half a degree isn't much, but over a long distance or period, it can make a huge difference. And this is similar to your network marketing business. A small correction or adjustment in the development of your business can make a significant difference a few months from now. And right now, it is the perfect time to readjust your navigation system. So let's dive into six questions I have prepared for you that will help you lay out a year plan to make 2024 the best year in your network marketing career. Question number one, what do you really want in life? People are so caught up in their daily routines that they forget to ask the most important questions. And for me, one of the most important questions is, what do I really want from my life, from my time on this planet? Am I living as I want to or is this just it? Most of the time, when I ask myself this question, I discover that there is a gap between where I want to be and where I am right now. To close this gap, question number two is important. It will give you clarity, focus and hope. Question number two, how can your network marketing business help you to close the gap? And what is your goal for the upcoming year? Are your products or service increasing the quality of your life? Or is the extra money you can earn with your business elevating your lifestyle? Or is the residual income giving you the financial independence to live your life on your terms? Or as I like to call it, the freedom of choice. So when we are talking about goals for the year 2024, in my opinion, it is important to set smart goals. When setting goals for your network marketing journey, using the SMART framework can be incredibly beneficial. So let's take a look at what SMART stands for. S stands for specific. Your goals should be clear and specific. You should know exactly what you're aiming for. For instance, instead of setting a vague goal like increasing sales, a specific goal would be increasing sales by 20% at the end of the third quarter. M stands for measurable. You need to be able to track your progress and measure the outcome. 
A measurable goal might be acquire 30 new customers within the next six months, which allows you to monitor your customer acquisition rate. What you can't measure, you can't improve. A. A stands for achievable. While it is important to aim high, your goal also needs to be realistic and attainable. For example, setting a goal to be a full-time network marketer when you already have a strong foundation and network in place might be achievable. Then R. R stands for relevant. Your goal should be relevant to the direction you want your business and your life to take. For example, if your ultimate aim is financial independence, your goal could be generate a consistent monthly residual income of 5,000 euros from your network marketing business within a year. Then T stands for time bound. Every goal needs a target date, so you have a deadline to focus on. For instance, expand your business network to include 50 new business partners by the end of the year. Gives you a clear time frame to work within. By applying a smart framework, your goals become more structured and trackable, and this will lead to better chances of success of your network marketing venture. Incorporating these details into your existing narrative about goal setting in network marketing not only provides more clarity, but also offers practical steps that can be followed. This approach helps in visualizing a clear path towards achieving your objectives. Your goal in network marketing can be many things. Achieving a new rank, advancing ranks in your organization, increasing the number of customers, expanding into new markets, setting an income goal, or creating a better work balance. And this brings us to question number three. Question number three is all about the why. Why do you want to achieve this goal? What is the drive behind it? How will it change your life? How will it impact your life? With this question number three, we want to discover the deeper meaning behind your goal. Because as I said in the beginning, the journey is a lot of fun and very inspiring, but it also provides some challenges and tests for you. As soon as you have set your first goal and you are ready to achieve it, fate will test you on how serious you are about your change in your life. And if your why is not strong enough and you don't have good enough reasons to achieve your goal, you will not make it. At the moment when the challenge is bigger than your why, you're going to give up. And if you give up, you decide that nothing is going to change and that you're not closing the gap between where you are right now and where you really want to be in your life. So knowing the purpose of your goal is your inner fuel that keeps you going even when times are getting difficult and things are not easy. So let's look at question number four. What are the action steps for achieving your goal in 2024? What specific actions are necessary to accomplish your goal this year? This step is about transforming your annual objective into manageable segments. To effectively plan, I used to break down the big yearly goal into smaller digestible pieces. First into monthly goals. Break down your yearly goal into 12 smaller monthly milestones. These should be significant steps that move you closer towards your overall aim. In these milestones, your big company events are a must in your yearly plan. Second, weekly goals. Further, divide each monthly goal into weekly targets. These should be more focused targets that contribute to accomplishing each monthly milestone. And then third, it's the daily goals. Finally, distill your weekly goals into daily actions. These are the specific actionable steps you need to perform every day. And adhering to these daily goals ensures consistent progress towards your weekly and monthly milestones. And ultimately, your yearly objective. By the end of this planning process, you will have a clear roadmap of daily tasks collectively leading up to achieving your year-end goal. So now we are coming to question number five. What are the potential areas of challenges, distractions, setbacks and loss of focus? What could those areas be? This question is essential in any planning progress, whether it is in business, sports or personal life. In sports, there's a well-known principle. Be prepared for the preparation. This means once you have set your plan, 
you must be ready for everything that can happen, including the unexpected. Challenges and obstacles are inevitable and they often come from where you least expect. There's an old saying, if you want to make God laugh, tell him your plans. And this resonates deeply with my experience in network marketing. You might craft the perfect plan, fully prepared to execute, but then life throws a curveball and suddenly everything is turned upside down. In professional sports, planning is a long-term process. We plan four years ahead with specific details. But the true value of planning is not in the rigidity, but in the flexibility it provides. The better your plan, the more adaptable you are in the moment. Consider the analogy of an airplane on autopilot traveling from Munich to New York. Its path is never a straight line. It consistently adjusts the course, left, right, up, down, but always gets back on track. Similarly, with a proper plan and a clear goal, life will present challenges. But a good plan combined with a vision and goal ensures you always return to your intended path. So, be mindful of potential challenges and destructions. Prepare extensively, but remain flexible. Understand that the journey to your goal is not a straight line, but a series of adjustments and recalibrations. With a solid plan and a clear vision, you'll be able to navigate any obstacle and stay on course. So let's check final question. Question number six, is it worth it? At the beginning of a race, all the athletes are motivated and have a goal, but competitions are difficult and challenging and not everyone will reach the finish line. The winners are those who pushed through and have beaten all the struggle on the way. To achieve this, they have trained hard and prepared themselves in the best possible way. This is the same in network marketing. Getting started takes a decision, but building your network requires commitment, resilience and a certain skill set. So it is important to ask yourself, is it worth it? This is similar to knowing your why, but in this case, you have an idea of how much your new venture will cost and you are determining if it is worth it, your time, resources and effort. When you know your outcome, your why, you have made an action plan and you have figured out how to implement this transformation into your daily routines, you can simply ask yourself, is it really worth it? After detailed planning and goal setting, this final step ensures that you are fully aware and ready for the efforts and sacrifices required to achieve your objectives. It's all about allowing your willingness to work hard on the goals you've set. To remind myself of my commitment all the time, I put it everywhere. Now it's on my computer, my screen, my phone, on the mirror in the bathroom, basically everywhere. So I see it a couple of times every day. This commitment or just seeing it serves a trigger, reinforcing putting myself back on track to keep going. So, know what you really want from life. Ask yourself, how can your network marketing business serve you and what is your goal for 2024? Figure out your why. What is the deeper reason behind your goal? And how can your action plan look like to achieve these objectives? Be prepared for life and every challenge it provides for you. And finally, ask yourself, is it worth it? And here is my top advice. Follow these six questions to make 2024 your best year ever. Going through these steps will trigger something within you. Once you've completed the process, defined your goal, understood your why and developed your massive action plan, it will become part of every cell of your body. You'll find joy in the journey and every day will be exciting as you eagerly anticipate taking the next step in your business. Because you know, it has the power to positively impact your life and the life of the people around you. So, share your 2024 goals and one memorable experience of 2023 in this comment section below. Like this video and subscribe for more helpful tips to grow your network marketing business in 2024. Thank you, see you soon.